Last week, MailChimp added something new to the MailChimp landing page creator that you're gonna love. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. MailChimp came out with their spring update and one of which was this new feature in the landing page creator. And that is to add video. Not just that crazy video th way that they were doing it before where you'd put in a, an image basically and it would go out to the video on YouTube and Vimeo. No, you can actually put a video in the landing page creator and it will play in the landing page. How awesome is that? So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. It's basically the old way, except the video stays on the landing page. So let's take a look at my little demo here. I scoured the internet for these, uh, for this fall harvest festival, fictitious festival that I got going on here. Register for the festival today. I scraped some uh, websites for the content and all that. So obviously this is not something for public consumption. I wanted to give you a real demonstration of what we're talking about here with this video. So I went ahead and gra grabbed a video from uh, Vimeo because uh, you'll see some issues with the YouTube one in a second, and I'll switch it out so you can see. And all I did was go down here, grab our video block. So we'll just grab a video, the same link here, and I'll paste it in. And there it is. Once we have our link in here, we can actually turn on captions, which is what I did above. Enjoy all the fest festival activities. And so you can put anything in here. You can put other images and links and all that good stuff that you can do in a normal text block. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that for this demo, but certainly that's something that you can do. And the other thing we have, now that captions is turned on, we can go into settings and we can position the caption if we want it on the bottom, top, left, or right. Under style, we can uh, style the width of the video, so we can make it 90%. Uh, the background is that caption background, so we can change it to a different color if we want. And that looks ugly, so I'll keep it the way it was. Uh, you can do a border around the uh, video like that. Uh, let's just turn it to red so you can see it a little bit. There you go. And you can do caption style so you can change the font uh, color and the height and bold it and all that style and even do the line height. So I can save and close. So that's how easy it is. Pretty much what it was before uh, with this uh, landing page creator when you dropped over the video block. But here is the difference. Now I'm gonna uh, delete that. Yes, I'm sure. Uh, I'm gonna go to preview and watch this magic happen. Here we have our little Vimeo video and you're gonna get some of the specifics. If Obviously if it's your video up in Vimeo, you can control what you see here as far as the icon and the title and all that stuff. But since I don't own this video, I can't really control it. And it plays inside the landing page. Yes, how cool is this? So, I want you to go and try this. If you're into the landing page creator and you've tested it out and been totally frustrated with the lack of uh, the ability to put in an actual image and have it play on the landing page, go try this out, let me know what you think. Now, uh, let me just switch out to uh, YouTube. So I'll click inside the video block again, and I will paste in the YouTube version. Okay, so there you go. Uh, we have all our stuff there. Now, uh, let's click and save, and I'll do the preview again. And we're gonna click the play button here. And again, just like in the, oops, let me minimize that. Uh, just like in the Vimeo, it's actually playing inside the actual landing page. Uh, the problem is when I pause it, you get this. Other suggested videos related to the content or related to the person if you're logged into YouTube. So that's something you cannot control and that's something you should be aware of. And at the very end of the video, if I scroll down here, uh, you'll see other stuff like that to pop up, but obviously if it was your video, you wouldn't do that to have the end cards pop up. Uh, but I just want to see at the end where it says suggested videos at the end, like that. So it's the same type of thing uh, that on pause button is kind of like the same videos you see at the end of the video on suggested videos. Now that's something you should be aware of. I haven't found a way to control that. 
And so if you do, post in the comments below so others can learn to how to do that and me being one of them. So there you go, guys. How exciting is this? Something that we've been looking for and MailChimp has been listening to us and so thankful for them to make this update for us. For more about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.